Hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 10110 of Sinarukana. <laughs> yeah, you didn't hear what we were saying be before I started the episode, so... I was, I was like looking... What's the next episode? We're on number 10... And then I looked at the thing, it's like, oh, 110, okay. So, we're on 10110. <laughs> What happened to 1019? Well, forget 1019. What has it ever done for us? <laughs> Stupid 1019. Jeez, that'd be what, 10,110? Yeah, that's a little much. <laughs> Sounds about accurate. <laughs> it feels like we've been doing this for that long. Nah, not even. Someone help. <laughs> okay, so let us continue. See what we're facing next. Uh, like, really though, just think about it. Most Let's Plays don't even get a chance to go nearly this long. <laughs> they peter out around like, what, 20? Well, I will never start uh, playing a game that I don't finish. <laughs> well, I a lot like, of games aren't that long. I have like a compulsive long. need to finish games. Uh, yeah, well, Whether or not I actually record the entirety of it, such as my Stardew Valley thing, that remains to be seen. If I don't get much more interest in it in the next couple of days, I probably aren't going to record any more episodes of it. It would be really fun, though, now that you mentioned Stardew Valley. Multiplayer Harvest Moon. Do, do you know what? I actually was looking at the developer's website uh, because I was wondering what the developers were because I couldn't find it anywhere in the game. So I typed it in, and it, like, lists a list of things for upcoming. Multiplayer is on it. Maybe I should get to Stardust Valley, or maybe I should wait until multiplayer comes on, and then we can, like, start a new game or something. I don't know, whatever. I, was, I am, like, really looking forward to how that's going to be implemented, but that's, like, planned for the next patch. Okay, fine. When it comes out, let me know. <laughs> I'll get it, and we can, like, start recording it together. I don't know how it will work, if I can just join your save game or what. But I will join, and I'll be so epic, like, the audience will just love me and, like, completely forget about you and your irrigation ditches. <laughs> Again, the Markiplier, Markiplier stream with that had some funny moments. Alright, what, what am I gonna do against this here? Is there is actually... like a, there's like a three by nine rectangle of plants, and off the one end there were two or three by three sections, and everyone, everyone seemed to think that it resembled some part of uh, anatomy, but he insisted that it didn't at all. Back to our game, I guess. <laughs> Skill level now five. that you're confused and trying to wonder what that was. Skill level five. Can you banish five? Yes, it can. Dang it. Kind of like the chance to try out our encounter skill at some point. I thought this would be a decent one, but Ice Banish 2 can go to five. It's the energy leak that can't. Alright, well, piddle flub. Guess that's as good as we're gonna get. Uh, do I need to switch? Not really. Should take some force damage from the white. The blue might have a bit of a force, but still, the they're, all, they're, they're, they're all heavier physical than force, so. That way I get an opportunity to fire a ball if they do switch blue out as the support roll. You ain't gonna die. Got like the second most hit points in the party. Or in my whole group, I mean. Something like that. Only Solace has more. Poor Pornadome. She's green and 
Was that a cartoon sound effect? Yeah, yeah that's Naya. Naya! She always makes those cartoon sound effects. You're fine. All right, Our photon barrier. Let's get a fireball in. No counter spell. I kind of wish I'd have gotten to remember to switch to Sorluska's new skill that targets the attacker. Although, I guess this is, isn't the party that can boost his mana. I thought it was in that one. どいつの脳天を砕いてくれようか。まずはお前じゃ。飛び道を uh, I guess they... well... Oh, he's gonna kill the white one. She's not quite gonna kill the green one. But he's gonna kill the white one at least. Actually, I don't really care about the white one, so... Let's get some healing in. どいつの脳天を砕いてくれようかまずはお前じゃ。ええ。大事に生きる精霊力よ。オッケー。ハウ。よし。癒しの光を。ちょっと。ま、ごめん。801 <笑> I like how the zombie like panics when she takes a tiny bit of damage. Like, oh no, I'm gonna die! And Sir Luska's like, not bad, keep it coming! <laughs> well, see, I think Sir Luska might be a masochist. And, you know, like, people freak out if they see, like, you know, a spider or something. <laughs> Alright, now we'll kill the green one and the white one. Yes, I guess if he was, that would explain why he has such low defenses. Like all the items I've gotten, I have not gotten another defensive skill for him. Exactly, because he doesn't really want the defense. He just <laughs> likes it as it is. And that's why he manages to stick around with Thalia, even though she... Even with all <laughs> she says about him. That smacks him all the time. Exactly, because he really likes it. He's probably not going to actually admit as much, but he does. He's a billion years too early for them to defeat me. <laughs> 
I don't know, Raputna. You're Raputna. You're like some sort of stinky human. They can probably beat you. Yeah, they, they, she's come pretty close to going down a few times. Well, as long as it's not like the entire party going down, I suppose. When she was an all-rounder. Yeah. Yeah, that would be bad, yeah. She's way too square to be an all-rounder. Where are all my blues at? <laughs> Other than Raput and I have, like... Way the heck back here, I haven't done anything all game. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with some things like these. Once you get a few characters, uh, like Pokemon has the problem as well. Once you get one new character that's like good enough, you don't need anything else. Okay, you don't have Flame Shower, so. Like, quite often I find myself playing Pokemon. Yeah, I'm, like, pretty oh. I'm pretty sure Euphoria can probably solo this entire map. If you have a Pokemon that's like 20 levels above like anything you face, you can like pretty much one-shot any wild Pokemon that you come across and can solo the gym leaders as you find them. It's like, why do I need other Pokemon? You get to the Elite Four, just one Pokemon beats them first try. It's like... The game isn't a challenge if you actually level up your Pokémon properly. <laughs> At least that's true for like Gen One. I don't think if I no, I've never actually beaten... actually no. So me can kill her in one shot. I no, she can't. She's only got thir one thirteen percent strength. But I guess yeah. Fireball could overpower defense and finish her. I could actually use her encounter skill here. Let's try it. Yeah, why not? Let's see what it does. <laughs> she sings! These little notes appear above her head. Yeah. <laughs> it got her low enough for Nozomi to finish her, so I guess that's good. <laughs> No, you're not the only person I know who's been bugging me to play games with them. And stuff. <laughs> pretty, much as, pretty much as soon as I got into Edmonton, my friend Sam started texting me. I don't know how she knew I was in town. She started texting me while I play like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Yes! I found this. I found that one of the more recent uh, Pokemon games, I think it was like Sapphire or whatever, has uh, the fashion contests for Pokemon. So I started doing that and I completely forgot about like everything else in the game. <laughs> Focusing on getting my Pokemon like uber fashionable. <laughs> Only leveling up top just so you can get better fashion moves. That's all I've <laughs> It's fun. I do well in those contests. <laughs> 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 Thanks, 
Big fan of that encounter skill. Oh, well, that's a shame. For Nozomi or Katima, huh? Divine block, final allies, or final velocity. Oh. What's final velocity do? That's the one that that raises the act IP when it's and it's cast at the end of the battle, which actually Avum said it's really good. As he said, that makes that team go again almost immediately. That would be very interesting if you can manage to use it every battle. Well, it's only got six uses. <laughs> Still, pretty much six extra turns. Like, if you could give it to that uh, excavator girl. Excavator girl? <laughs> no, that's only Katima's skill. Fine, put Katima in a team that's actually good. I know, like her skill set, really. Actually, I should throw Sir Luska in her team so that she could Dark Spring uh, and he can use his attacker targeting ability. So, but right now, I think we're gonna give. Uh, so me, her, stronger, block all. It might be a good thing to have. West Junkyard has been captured. And there's another guardian right before the city's entrance. Right before the entrance. You're not even in it yet. It's only been five episodes or so. Come yeah, so yeah, that's close. what you, you... Yeah, remember? You you were just talking about the junkyard should be in the slums. It is! Because we haven't entered the city. We've oh been circling goodness. around it. And yep, there's the green one. Wow, 1,000 material defense. Definitely attacking him with force attackers. Uh, so, probably he's going to be the only... Whoa! 1,300 attack power! 
with penetrate. <laughs> with penetrate. penetrate. Not that I have any protection green. 900 to all. I am really glad I just took Nozomi's 600 all block skill. That should do most of that. That'll do all of that with her defense. Well, actually, it's got 131% magic. Unless that counts as strength, in which case it's only an extra 19 Oh yeah, yeah, it is strength, but it's material. So yeah, 19% exactly. more. Basically, so like yeah, with Nozomi's, with Nozomi's endurance, she will fully block that. Or wait, no, it's, individ it's each person's endurance, not just hers. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Uh, the others will have to make sure to not put ones that are too weak. And definitely force attack. Well, <laughs> problem is force attackers means red, which are inherently weak endurance. <laughs> Doesn't blue sometimes have force attack? It's not very much, though. Yeah, not very much. Uh, well, days, you might have to uh, tortoise this. Look at his endurance, too! Almost double, so he's got almost 2,000 defense. Not even Euphoria could penetrate that! Euphoria, Excavator... You know, some people feel great Euphoria while excavating. I have a 1,300 Nine, defense, yeah. so if she's using her defense all, she's gonna be taking... Well, a lot? Well, not really a lot, only like 400 and something. Can you have another green heal? Yeah, I could! I could make the party a red attacker. Like, Maybe prob Solace? Probably Jazita, and then Solace and Nozomi. That's four people. Oh no, Jazita is the red, okay. Yeah. Red, Jazita, Salas, Nozomi... I said I a red attacker, fun. probably Jazita. Yeah, I, I think, she, about I think she has the best four-space attack skill. Yeah, hers is... Yeah, pretty yeah. certain hers is better than... Uh, better than... Uh, Naya's, even though Naya does have 182% magic. But her base is only 350. Where Jacita uh, way in the back <laughs> has 450 and 140% magic. No, Naya's better. Naya Definitely. is better. Jacita's fireball is stir no, no. Actually, Naya is just better all around. Uh, Team Naya for the win. Meow meow. Actually, Katima might have the best force attack now. That north, that northern sword of hers. 146 of the 500 base. Yeah, I think that's about equal to Naya's. Since Naya has such higher magic. Almost 700, this is... But also, Katima but... has much higher endurance than Naya does. Actually, Katima will do a little bit more damage. No, because the 8% material is going to do nothing with its t almost 2,000 no, like, material defense. 500 plus it is almost an extra 50%. That's like just about 750. But 350 and... almost doubled is almost 700. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hers is stronger. A and little she, bit and, stronger. and like I said, she's better for the endurance aspect for taking the uh, breath and attack. For, and for so, something like yeah. this, it might be a good idea to tortoise it. You know, tortoise with a toothpick? <laughs> so, yeah, because Tima's going to be my attacker. And then I'll have Salas and and the Zomi both. Salas, well, I could just I could use the Zomu as well. Other than Salas, Let's 
and Solace is way the hell back there. Now, oh, Katima isn't much closer either. I'm gonna have to regroup anyway if I'm gonna change the party to fight that one. Now, if you put Katima in it, you can try to end it with her ability. No, wait, you didn't give her her ability. No, I didn't. Because I gave, you're too I gave Nozomi the de all defense one. Which I'm really glad I did, because her weaker one wouldn't have been very protective against that attack. Actually, See, that's why I, I give so many relics, is to hope that someone actually, grabs. Solace has an all defense one too. Is his stronger than his omies? No, no, his is definitely weaker, because he hasn't got his divine upgrade either. So are you going to fight it this episode? Hmm, we'll see. Uh, definitely going to advance on it and gather up in the... Name Where the hell am I going to gather the... up at? <laughs> I guess right here before the underpass. Even though it's not a town, there's no other ta there, stronghold. There's no other strongholds between me and it. Well, this one that I'm sitting at here is a stronghold, so I guess I can gather up here. Let's do that. Do a little bit more leveling of probably Nozomi. <laughs> would probably be a good idea. To get her endurance even higher to take less from the from the thing's claw attack. Uh, any, any of you got no, none of you guys are participating in that, and I don't need to level up any of you, so you guys can advance and take out the minions on the way. Okay, you're part of the team I need to rearrange, so you stand by. Not rearranging this Omu so he can go with them to provide some backup and maybe actually fight something this mission. Oh my goodness. As I said, that's just the problem. You level one character up, Super extremely huge and all that happened. And well, four, yeah. Awesome. Well, I haven't even leveled her up. I just, I just got her this first battle I could use her in. She's just so insanely powerful, thanks to her rank three sword. I have a feeling you're probably going to lose her, like in a boss battle. Like you're not going to be able to use her. Like, when it comes to something very important, you can't decide. <laughs> we'll see, because uh, she can wreck just about anything other than that green dragon. Or green guardian. <laughs> no, like, you just won't be allowed to use her in an important battle. That's Got ignition, huh? Huh. If I put if I put my white girl in the supporter role, would my encounter skill f go first or theirs? I think it depends on if you are attacking. Well, they're attacking me. If they are attacking, then theirs would probably go first. 
So if that's the case, mine would heal up all the damage that there's dealt. That is a good one, if it was. Yeah, we'll give it a try, I guess. Uh, inspire? No. <laughs> Not inspire, the other one. I mean, concentration is... Endurance up, magic down, maybe. How come you don't have passion yet? Dang it! Just because she's a white user doesn't mean that she's passionate about what she does. It's all part of the job. <laughs> don't want to lower magic because that's my main attack. Probably gonna have to save the uh, big, big scary dragon fight for next time. But you can still do this battle. Enough time for this, most definitely. Man. Mm. Now I didn't even look at the red spirits magic. Gonna 133. Now it's not gonna be equivalent of Katima's. Considering both the base is less and the stats less. Yep. Our counter skill goes first. Damages me. My encounter goes off. Heals it right back up. Doing an attacking. I'll throw you in defense now. Oops, I didn't change off of Alpha. Well, do it that way then. <laughs> I didn't change off of Firebolt either. <sighs> you really should, uh, not be such a noob at this by now. <laughs> it's been about 80 hours. Like, you can stop being a noob at this now. Ouch! What happened to blocking? I went through my I went through my turn and their turn. Blocking is so overrated. What is burn smash undefendable for some reason? No, I've defended against that plenty of times. Exactly. <laughs> hey, I just defended against it there. <laughs> yeah, one downside to doing Let's Plays of games that you don't know is that when you get the help and like knowledge for like playing the game and stuff, it always comes too late. But pretty much always comes too late. Or oh, it's a spoiler. <laughs> like the uh, warmth thing. 
Is this a call you a potato? <laughs> a potato? It sounded like she just said potato. Ah, she said like Conan Tats or something like that. Sounded like she said potato. Damn that treason block. Uh, One hit out of one hit points. Uh, damage reflection on that. Oh, I need like fireball too. It's useful as it is to target attacker directly. That firebolt skill is just kind of too weak now. I can't believe I forgot to switch to flame shower again. Finally, formationize stuff. Or wait, no, the other team isn't there yet. I guess we can reinforce. Throw me to yourself. And I guess also Katima. Okay, fine, do throw loose Katel. Realize I had the mana for three. <laughs> and now, well, formation eyes. Okay. So me, nope. Katima. You better be careful. I hear these elemental thingies are forming a union. other people that are level 14s <laughs> along with Euphoria. And might as well have you guys finish her off. Let's go to Fireball, shall we? I think that's stronger than Rain Lancer. It is. So, yeah, between Raputna and Fireball, she shouldn't get a chance to attack. Team out of my way. Ah, 
ってきますねえー、とえー、とパパの力プチコネクティッドウィルOnce we finally made our way through the chaotic streets, the wall around the city itself comes into view. I do. But with the city right in front of us after beating a bunch of the guards. Who is this? What? We were just passing into the city. But... Oh my, hold on, are you back? What the heck? We just passed through here. We're back pretty far. How the heck did they pull this off? You sound like you're actually angry. Maybe using time as a barrier. Time? I'm just guessing, but if they rewind time locally, there's a good chance they can reset us back to our previous locations. Signature is right in front of us. Guardian was captured. Central's buying time after we struck down their guardians. Then we're stuck after getting this far? That's astounding. Is this the power of a process egg? We have to find a way through it. Nozomu, it doesn't look like there are any enemies nearby. Why don't you rest for a moment? When we all start to panic from the unexpected problem, Reime is the one to have a suggestion. Surprisingly enough. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Nanashi, do you sense anything nearby? No, not right now. Everyone, let's use this chance to rest and think. Yeah, well, sensing is only powerful plot. Sensei! I'm good, Aida. What are you tired for? You have not been in one single battle the entire mission. Yeah, well, she still ran across the town. <laughs> of, you know, the slums. They have three ways. <sighs> uh, I'm beat. Yeah, you're more understandable. Honestly, at least we've shaken them off. Really? 
Regardless, this is enemy territory. We won't be able to rest long. Everyone relaxes in their own ways. I walk a little ways down the block from the others and slump against a wall. My body's been getting hotter and hotter. My heart won't stop pounding in my ears. I feel like I did just before my power awakened. Is something the matter? I don't know. My body's burning up. It may be your body and soul reacting to the Chloe Calcum name. That power does belong to you. I guess. Zomu, what's the matter? Huh? Zomi? Eh, it's nothing. Really? You look like you have a fever. She's known you a long time. She's sharp. Hey, now I have two people that can talk into my head. <laughs> Apparently. She knows something's wrong with you the moment it happens. Indeed. <laughs> Could you two not talk in my head? Mizomu? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, let's go back to where everyone else is resting up. Yeah. I'll be right there. Satoki! Satoki! I spin around in immediate reaction to her warning. Subaru's standing up on the roof under the now familiar night sky. He looks down on us impassively. I quickly raise my swords, but his bow stays at his side. Asomi, go get the others. Doesn't huh? look like he wants to fight. And Nozomu probably could fight him by, by himself. But, uh huh? But he can't fight him by himself. I'll be okay. And if it comes to it, Nanashi can help me fight. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll get them right away. I'd be interesting if he does gain uh, some type of power that uses Nanashi and, and Reimei both. It would be interesting, but also short-lived. Yeah. She turns her back on Subaru and sprints away. Subaru. <laughs> I was sure he'd use the opening and try to attack her. But he doesn't even raise his bow. It's like he's just watching us. What's he doing? Watching without talking, you should try sometimes. Who knows? And you are aware that I'm not going to help you, right? I know that. If I hadn't said that... Nozomi wouldn't have gone to get the others. Ah, I see. So that's why. No wonder you didn't get upset. What's that supposed to mean? Okay, so apparently they can both talk to you, but only Rain knows your thoughts. 
From what I've seen so far, if Satoki actually relied on me, you would have thrown a temper tantrum. I'm rather jealous to see how close you two are. I glance over at her quickly, surprised at how lonely that sounded. But then there's a sound above me. I quickly look back up at the roof, but Sabaru's not there. He's jumped down and is right in front of me. Nasomo. Sabaru! You snapped out of it? For now, I can resist Central's control. I think your attack knocked my system out of order. You mean back then? Thank you, okay? I can think again thanks to you. We have to get out of this world, but we can't go anywhere unless we do something about Central. Apostasy's power is unbelievable. Wait for your chance. Chance? Yes. I'll create one. A chance for you to escape this world. A chance to enter Central. But if we do that, what about you? This world has already died. He says it like it's nothing. Like, it's nothing more than some random event from the other day. The day the world died. The day everything ended. Something drifted into this world. Apostasy. So this. That's right. A single thing with so much power. Central obtained it and made it part of itself. That power was like a miracle. It did everything it could to keep us to keep this world alive. And this is what happened? If destruction cannot be prevented, then all that can be done is to stop time before the destruction. We can't go to the past, and there is no future. The only life for this world is to step outside the flow of time and stay in the present. Everyone was turned into machines and given eternal life. Their memories at that time were Im implanted to repeat the present forever. What's the point of that? To escape death, but is this world really alive? So. だから、あなたたちがこの世界を出ていくのは正しいことだと僕には思えるんです。いや、yeah. 
That's why you should leave this world. It's like a microcosm of the time tree. Huh? Nanashi? What's that mean? I will open a way into Central. Please, believe in me. Subaru! Hey! Wait! Central's control over me is... growing! I can't stay here! I'm really glad I met you. Bye. Bye, everyone. What? He turns his back on me and runs off as everyone else runs up. Damn it! What's going on? Do you no longer want to fight? I will repeat my master's message once again. Do not be timid in battle. Do not miss any chance, no matter how small. Kill the enemy without hesitation. Or you cannot protect anything. I know. I heard you the first time. Ah. <sighs> well, all this is fun and all, but I think it should wait for the next episode. Yeah, probably. I'm pretty sure well, that. Yep, definitely. Like, so, yeah, that up. just happened. We just had a reset button and are surrounded by even more enemies. At least one of us is an affection battle. <laughs> I guess. Bright lighting, maybe? I forget what, I forget what, what affection battles are. The ones that raise your affection for the girl you fight alongside. Okay, but aren't you just going to have the excavator do it all? No, not that battle. I definitely want Nozomu and Katima to run that one. She can... <laughs> Euphoria can go the other way, though. Clear out... <laughs> break a path. Sad exactly. thing is that excavator. I was going to use y Katima to attack the last guardians, but now I'm going to have to put her with Nozomu and have her go the opposite direction. <laughs> of course. So I guess I will end up using, uh, using probably the red spirit after all. Because I think she is the strongest of the reds as far as the attacker position. I'll have to compare them and make sure, but I think she is. Although, I might just want to go with wh whichever one of them has the highest endurance rather than has the highest damage potential. Also a good idea. In any case, we will decide all of that, and probably more, in the next episode. And Indeed. apparently I have a new survey. <laughs> So, thank you all for watching, and have a good one.